The Queen has arrived. Behold Her Majesty! The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from the Queen City, the Raw Women's Champion, Charlotte Flair! The personification of majestic elegance, a fearless defender of her crown. She says everyone will bow down to her. There's no question Charlotte is WWE royalty, but Charlotte often lacks compassion for those around her. Well, that comes with the territory when you've been superior most of your life. Flair says she's proud to be a queen and she should be celebrated. Well, Flair will also embarrass and humiliate those who choose not to fall in line. Hey, you can't deny the greatness of Charlotte Flair. She always finds a way to handle her business. And she shows why she's the most ruthless and dominant woman in sports entertainment history. Always guaranteed to have a vicious plan of attack. Most are playing checkers while the queen is a grand master at chess. Gentlemen, are you ready? I think Dakota Kai is about to get her kick. I see what you did there. Look at that intimidating scowl. And representing damage control from Auckland, New Zealand, Dakota Kai. She's got a ruthless attitude, ruthless ah. kicks, all in the name of damage control. The captain of team kick is long gone. She is now the assassin of damage control. Yeah, and the chip on her shoulder has grown even larger since coming back to WWE. We talk a lot about Charlotte's gracefulness in the ring, so I suppose it really is no surprise that she insists on being called the queen of WWE. Yeah, but not just the queen of WWE, called the queen of all eras. A title she earned, a title she's maintained with every distinguished move she makes in the ring. Every devastating statement she makes against the peasants, she lowers herself to face for the enjoyment of the unwashed masses. Charlotte's point of view certainly has legs, but I sometimes wonder if you realize we don't actually live in a monarchy, Corey. But there might be a big kick to the face waiting for her, courtesy of Dakota Kai. A Dakota Kai who's benefited by a boost to her confidence as of late. Yeah, and a boost to her anger as well, Corey. The captain of Team Kick has allowed her frustrations to fuel her ferocious attacks. Kai is certainly no longer a kind Kiwi. That's for sure. And back into the ring she goes. Sidewalk slam. And Kai not happy with absorbing the brunt of that one. The Queen came into this match with the express purpose of putting a beating on a peasant. And that was a step closer to it. Charlotte loves to slow a match down to a pace that suits her and her game plan. Would you agree, Corey, that the key to taking Charlotte down would be to refuse to work her pace? Absolutely, Corey. You keep a faster pace, you keep up your chance at disorienting Charlotte, or better yet, having her make a grave mistake while attempting to keep up. Charlotte with a nice reversal. Yeah. Evades their offense. Clear. Flair delivering the chop. Natural selection. Uh-oh. The complexion just changed, guys. Uh, I cannot believe she would have the audacity to show up in the middle of this match. Then just open your eyes because it's happening. Yeah. 
drop kick from behind. Oh, she counters right back on Kai. Heads out of the ring. What's next? Toss back into the ring. Oh, man. Right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Charlotte loves more than to gloat and say she's got it, got her shoulders down. Incredible power to kick out at just one. Oh, quite an effective counter. Charlotte with the spear. And the queen of all eras making a definitive statement with that move. In fact, let's call it a royal proclamation. Uh, Charlotte Flair ruling with an iron fist. Seeing a next level performance from these competitors. Charlotte Flair to the trademark chopping. Natural selection. Did Charlotte just end this? Uh oh. Way too long. Got the head scissors on. Oh, oh. elbow to the face. Into the knee drop. That's another focused attack to her torso area. Looking for the victory. Two. There it is. Charlotte is your winner. Here is your winner, Charlotte Flair. I have to imagine things might have been different had this been a fully fair fight, but tonight we only have this. I don't see how you can say the distraction factor didn't play a factor in this one, guys. Yeah, they put up a good fight, but you have to imagine their head was not in the right place after that distraction. That's true, Saxon. It's hard to focus on just the match when there's an outside variable at play.